it's Mrs. Davis from Happy Place to Grow. I am so glad you are joining me today. I'm thinking about let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, I'm kind of hoping and wishing because here in North Carolina, we've not had any snow where I live and I'm kind of longing for it because one of my favorite things to do when it snows is to build a snowman, snow person, snow dinosaur, you know, create something three-dimensional using snow. That's so fun. Do you like to do that? Well, the next best thing to building a snowman, if you don't have any snow, is I guess I'll have to settle for a really great story about not just one snowman, but in this story, we'll be thinking about snow people, snowmen. And we're gonna be using our imaginations. Have you ever imagined that things that weren't really alive could come alive? And if they did come alive, what would they do? Where would they go? So in today's story, Snowmen at Night, we're going to be using our imaginations and thinking about if snow people were actually real. People made out of snow and that could come alive magically. What would they do at night? Hmm. I love this story because not only is it fun to use our imaginations and think about what a snowman would do, it also shows us some fun things to do in the winter and we can make a connection because it's some things that we like to do when it snows. And the illustrations in this book are beautiful. They're really well done. So this is definitely a story that is full of imagination, creativity, cool and colorful illustrations, and it's easy to listen to because it's full of rhyming words. So the story is definitely going to flow and it's going to be easy to enjoy snowmen at night. So if you want to, you can go get a cup of hot cocoa, settle down in a cozy spot, and let's enjoy this story together. You got to start with some good snow, large snow spheres. And you got to stack them to get your snow person. It's going to take some work. Snowmen at night. One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. Hmm. Have you ever made a snowman? And then over the next couple of days, there were some changes. Let's find out what happened. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? Hmm, have you ever wondered that? Curious, questioning. I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. Off they go at night. Well, I've got to do it secretly. And freak all the people out. Looks like he's greeting another snow person. How fun is that? It's quiet, dark, and snowy. 
This is something cute to do and fun to do. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. They don't drink hot cocoa. Well, they're made of snow, they'd melt. But they do drink cocoa, it's just ice cold and it's made by their snowman mothers. How cute is that? Ooh, that looks fun. And something I definitely want to do when it snows. Do you want to have some races and some games? Then the snowman man games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. Hmm. Wonder how they can race without feet. We've got to use our imagination on that one for sure. <laughs> and how cute are these snow people? After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond and do skating tricks on ice. That looks fun. They're not using their feet. They're skating with their whole bodies. Wow. Have you ever went ice skating? It is really fun, but you have to get used to being on those blades. Oh, I love to do this in the snow. What about you? Snowman angels. Well, I do people angels. Sometimes they start giggling. <laughs> and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. That's so fun. Falling in the white fluffy snow. Plop. Look at this cute moon. I told you the illustrations are so adorable. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim. And underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. I had never thought about playing baseball or snowball. When it snows, hmm, that's interesting. Might be kind of fun. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. That would be quite the fight with the snowballs. What an adventure that would be. Look how cute he is. Carrot nose, smiling. When it's time for sledding, it's a wild ride downhill. There they go. Wee! Look at how the print on the page is going downhill. That's interesting. Have you ever been sledding down a very large hill? It's very fun. It can Make your belly do flip-flops. And the town sleeps while the snow men play. Wahoo, they yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. That cold air blowing in their snow people faces. Refreshing, fun. Uh-oh, who else was that? Whoa, this guy is right on an inner tube going, woo, that would be fun. Finally, I guess the night's coming to a close. Finally, they're tuckered out. That means they're really tired and played hard and getting sleepy. So they slowly gather up their things one, and one by one, they go, and you can see right here, the dawn is breaking. The sun is beginning to rise. A new day is starting. Well, they play hard, so they're ready to go take a little snooze. So, if your snowman's grin is crooked, or he's lost a little height, 
You'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. I love how the little boy in this story is using his imagination to think about why a snowman is a little droopy and a little less straight and he's lost his mittens. Hmm. That was fun. The story's over, but look, they're still playing and swinging on another night. And the moon shines bright. That was a really cute story. Did you love it? I love the illustrations. I love using my imagination too. It inspires me to create and to think and to definitely get some inspiration for the next snowy day that I'm hoping for. I might play baseball in the snow. I've never thought of that. All right, we're going to do one final thing with our, our snowmen people adventures. And I want you to think and use your imaginations. This would be a fun way to extend our story. And you can do a little thinking and you can do a little writing or maybe even illustrating. And this activity involves a thought about if you made a snowman and you could bring it to school with you, how would you get it there? And when you got it there, what would you do with your snow person? So in this little activity, whoops, slipped right out of my hands and it's not even made of snow. In this little activity, we've got a little thinking bubble. We've got a snow person in the middle. And this is just a thought. If you want to think about doing some writing or drawing, whoa, I think my snowman's wanting to come alive and get out for some adventure. If you're wanting to do a little um, extension with this story, you can use your imagination too. You can do some writing, some drawing. You can put writing and drawing together. This is a fun thought. If you brought your snowman to school, what would he do at recess? So if you brought a snowman to school on a snowy day, what would he do with you at recess? Think about it. What would your snow person do? Go on the swings, go down the slide, go across, oh, it might be kind of hard to go across the monkey bars with stick arms. You could go down the slide. What would your snowman uh, do? If you took your snowman to school, what would your snowman eat for lunch? Frozen peas, frozen peaches, ice cream, and no nothing hot. Mm -mm -mm. And maybe your snowman would have to eat outside and look in the cafeteria window because it might be a little hot in the cafeteria with all that cooking. Here's something to think about. How will you get your snow person to school? How would you get your person, your snow person there? Would you put it on a sled and pull it to school? Would you hitch up a trailer? Would your mom help you hitch up a trailer to the car and mom would drive it to school? Oh, that's really interesting. How do we get it there? Time to use that imagination. This might be a fun drawing. Draw how you would get there with your snow person. Or you could write and draw. Be fun. What will your teacher think? Is your teacher really cool? Would she love a snow person? Or would she be like, get that snow person out of here. It's taking up too much space. It's getting the floor wet. What would your teacher think? Would she let you do show and tell with your snow person? How will you keep your snow person from melting? Hmm, Cause you know, school's gonna be hot. Even though it's winter time, they gotta keep the heat on. I was thinking about this one. 
You could take your snow person to the cafeteria. You could talk to the ladies in the cafeteria and ask them if your snow person could go in the deep freezer and hang out until it was time to go home or to do something fun outside. And then finally, do you think your snow person would like school? Would your snow person like, I know, I know mine would because mine would love all the interaction with the kids for sure. And mine would probably want to go on the, snow, on the playground and throw snowballs at all the kids. That would be fun. I love this activity because I can pick all of these and do some writing. I could pick one. I could just write a story about what my snow person and I would do at recess. And I could draw a picture to go with it. So enjoy this story and then extend the enjoyment. Get out there and use your imagination. Do a little drawing and writing. And hey, if you don't want to take your snowman to school, you could take your snowman to the grocery store or to, uh, or to maybe to uh, the neighborhood uh, playground. You know, get your imagination going. Where could you take your snow person? To the movie theater? Mm, no, that might be too hot. Hey, that's a fun activity. All right. Hopefully in your area, you've gotten some snow and maybe you were even able to build a snow person. I haven't yet, but I'm still hoping winter's not over. But if you can't do that, enjoy the next best thing. Curl up with a good snowman story. This has been a cute one. All right. Until our next time together, keep your imagination going and... Hopefully you can get out there and play in the snow. All right, until our next time together, have a 